Now we're gonna solve the problem write a function. An extra day is added to the calendar almost every four years as February 29 and the day is called a leap day. It corrects the calendar for the fact that our planet takes approximately 365.25 days to orbit the sun. A leap year contains a leap day. In the Gregorian calendar, three conditions are used to identify leap years. First, the year can be evenly divided by 4 is a leap year, unless the year can be evenly divided by 100, it is not a leap year, unless the year is also evenly divisible by 400, then it is a leap year. This means that in the Gregorian calendar, the years 2000 and 2400 are leap years, while 1800, 1900, 2100, 2200, 2300 and 2500 are not leap years. Task. Given a year, determine whether it is a leap year or not. If it is a leap year, return the boolean true, otherwise return false. Note that the code stub provided reads from stdin and passes arguments to the isLeap function. It is only necessary to complete the isLeap function. Okay, so it is already defined a function for us here. If it wouldn't be here, we would have to write def, so that is def, that stands for now we are going to write a function, and the function is called isLeap, and the argument that is going to be given is year. Argument means what you give for the function in order to call the function, that's uh, the value that you put into it. And then in the end you get an um, output, and the output should be true or false. True if it is a leap year, false if it's not a leap year. So first let's assume that the leap year is false, so it's not a leap year. Now we're going to write the logic from our function, and in the end we are going to return a leap. So if certain conditions are met, then the false leap year should turn, should transform into a true leap year. So we should give it the true boolean if it is a leap year and the conditions are written here. The year can be evenly divided by 4. Okay, so we write if leap divided by 4, if it is evenly divided by 4. How can we check if it is evenly divided? So if leap divided by 4 equals an integer, so it, for example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., then it is evenly divided by 4. Let's check how we can write this in Python, if it's evenly divided. So I know it's a mod operator. Okay, so 15% 4, 15 4 equals 3, because the rest is 3. So 4 fits in 3 times and the rest is 3. Okay, so if we write percent, then it gives out the rest. So for example, 17% 12, it gives out 5, because we can fit the 12 one time in the 17 and then the rest is 5. Okay, so we want to make this percent, because then we get a rest and the rest should be 0, and that means it's evenly divided by 4. So if it's evenly divided by 4, then we write something. And if we make the if statement, we're going to write if, and then we're going to use this one, this semicolons, and then we're going to write the if function. And never forget, in Python, you always have to indent your code. So for example, if starts here and the indentation is here. That is important, otherwise it's not running. Okay, so if leap percent 4 equals 0, then it is already a leap year? No, it is not, because it still has to meet different conditions, more conditions. For that we can write a second if statement. The year can be evenly divided by 100. It is not a leap year. Okay. So the year should not be evenly divided by 100, unless it is dividable by 400. Hey, so in order to illustrate that better with the leap year, I made a decision tree here. So we have uh, the question can be divided by 4, that is a yes or no, if it's not divided by 4, 
we can say that it is not a leap year, not a leap year. If it is divided by four, then we can ask, can it be divided by 100? All right, so this is the whole decision tree. So if it can be divided by four, if it cannot be divided by four, then it's definitely not a leap year, no matter what other conditions meet. If it can be divided by four, then it might be a leap year. If it is not divided by 100 and divided by four, then it's definitely a leap year. If it can be divided by four and it cannot, and it also can be divided by 400, then it is also a leap year. Otherwise it is not a leap year. So we have two trees in the end that they go until leap year. And we can mark this maybe in a different color here. Here with some green. So two ways to go to leap year. If it can be divided by four, and it cannot be divided by 100, then this goes to leap year. If it can be divided by four, and it can be divided by 100, 100, and it can also be divided by 400, then this one also goes to leap year. So two paths goes to leap year. Now this way you can probably imagine it better. So in case you have such a logic question, it will be helpful to make a logic tree out of it with a yes and no. Can also be one and zero or whatever. Okay, so it definitely has to always be evenly divided by four. So this then always hits. So now we can make a second condition where we write if leap percent 100 equals null. If leap is evenly divided by 100, then it is not a leap year. So we should say leap divided by 100 should not equal zero because then we say it is not evenly divided by 100. Or, so it can, it should not be evenly divided by 100 unless it is dividable by 400. So we can make or. So this is one condition that it is evenly divided by 100 should not happen. This is what we have here, not evenly divided by 100. And now the second one, so it can be either or. So if this is um, true, if it, if it is not true, if it is divided by 100, then it should be at least divisible by 400. So we have to make a second condition or leap is divisible by 400 and that equals zero. So if it is divisible by, by 100 then, and this one is false, then can still the other one function can still rescue this code. So it can still move forward because this can be true. So just one of them has to be true. Okay, and then if all these conditions are met, then we say leap equals true. And by the way, it's not leap that we are testing here with the numbers, it should be the argument year. So we have to replace this leap. You cannot divide it. You cannot evenly divide it or figure out the rest because it's not a number, it's a Boolean. It's true or false. So actually we have to use year here, which is a number. And then we can also test all these conditions on the year, year. And then we say leap equals true. Okay, so let's test if this is working. Okay, of course. So it has a problem with this one equal sign because we actually we have to use two equal signs here. One is for declaring something and two equal signs is for comparing something. And we want to compare now. We want to compare this rest with zero. So we have to use two equal signs. And here we use one equal sign because we want to declare that leap is now true. So for declaration, we use one equal sign. Okay, so he has a problem with his syntax, if and or. So something is wrong with this syntax here, if year or year. So how to use or operator in Python if statement is the question. So if today equals Sunday or today equals Saturday, 
statement with OR operator. Oh, okay, so the OR operators is in small letters and I wrote them in capital letters. So that might be the problem. Let's try the small letters. We see that color changed, so it's likely that that was the problem. And it passed. Awesome. So 1990 was the test case and it was false. So let's submit our code and see if all the test cases get through. Yes, all the test cases went through.